Welcome to this CPSC product registry training video. This video will provide an overview of CPSC's secure online application called the product registry. Please note that the CPSC product registry is in ongoing development. Features and functionality are subject to change. The CPSC electronic filing or e-filing program enables importers of regulated consumer products to electronically file data elements from a certificate of compliance with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection via a partner government agency message set. To support this, CPSC has developed and maintains the product registry. First, what is the CPSC product registry? The product registry is a secure online application where importers can store and manage their product certificate data to file reference PGA message sets with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection at the time of entry. The product registry has user-friendly features to enable certificate data entry via a manual entry process or bulk upload via CSV or API. Each importer will create and oversee their own business account where the product data and user permissions are organized into product collections. Product collections are labeled collections of product certificates that are managed by business account administrators and or collection administrators within a business account. Next, let's take a look at what the CPSC product registry looks like and how to begin using it. Refer to the videos in the Create an Account category of this training module if you're an importer or trade partner that does not have an account yet. If you have an account, you'll want to save this link to the product registry, which is efiling.saferproducts.gov forward slash efiling to ensure easy and frequent access. Once you have successfully logged in, you'll automatically be navigated to the CPSC eFiling dashboard. There are six key components to the dashboard. First, in the top right corner, you'll see your name and company name. Next, if you click the downward facing arrow, you can see your user account and company information. This is the information you provided during your account setup process. You can also find the logout button here. Next, you'll see the to-do list section. This is the section that will notify you of any outstanding tasks that must be completed within your account. Tasks that will appear in this section include responding to invitations, certifying product certificate entries, and setting your certifier ID. On the right-hand side of the dashboard, you'll find the Activity Feed section. This section displays all activities performed within the account to date, including the status of any product certificates being entered or submitted. The feed can be used to track pending and completed actions across your account to stay updated on e-filing progress. You can hide the activity feed at any time by clicking the Hide Activity Feed button. Next, if you click the Filters drop-down arrow, you will find various sort and filter categories, including sort order, product collection, category, source, or type of activity. Click Apply Filters to filter your activity feed. Next, you'll find the section titled Product Collections. This is where you will find all the product collections within your account that you have access to. This will vary depending on your user role. Product collections are labeled collections of product certificates that are managed by business account administrators and or collection administrators within a business account. You'll find the Manage Users and Add Collection buttons. These buttons exist to enable user management and to create product collections. Refer to the videos in the User Management category of this training module to learn more about managing users within a business account. You can also refer to the video titled, Create a New Product Collection, to learn more about creating product collections. Click the downward facing arrow to expand the product collection section. For each product collection, the dashboard will indicate the name of the collection and the number of products and users within the collection. You can also click on the Actions drop-down menu to find additional actions you may take to view, manage, or edit the collection. If you continue to scroll down the dashboard, 
you'll find the section titled Trade Parties. This section will provide an overview of the type and quantity of trade parties that exist within your account. The number of trade parties and specific trade parties that exist in your account will vary depending on your user role. Within the product registry, the term trade parties refers to manufacturers, testing laboratories, and other points of contact. Within this section, you will also find the Add and Manage buttons. These buttons exist to enable an easier process for users to add and manage trade parties. Refer to the video titled Add a New Trade Party to learn more about adding and managing trade parties. Keep scrolling down. The last section you'll find is API Token. This section is where users may access the eFiling API. You can generate a new token by clicking the Generate New Token button. You will be prompted to create a secret password to enhance the security of your API token. The secret password should be easy to remember and only shared on a need-to-know basis, as this password will need to be provided when executing your API transmission. Click the Submit button. Lastly, this section includes a Copy Token to Clipboard button. Users may copy their token using this button to enable easier data transfer. This concludes our review of the CPSC product registry. Refer to the other videos in this training module to learn more about how to use the secure online application to manage your product certificate data. If you have additional questions, visit cpsc.gov forward slash e-filing or email e-filing support at cpsc.gov for assistance.